So I'm back here at Blender. Uh, I will delete this uh, this T-shirt here, the one that I've uh, changed it for generating the normal map. Uh, in fact, uh, right now I'm I'm going to move this one uh, here just to be able to focus on the on the male mesh itself because I'm now going to do something different. Okay, so we have this t-shirt that is sharing the same overlay as the body and what happens if we actually create a, a mesh from scratch? How we can uh, project the weight map uh, and this kind of thing? So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, create a, a new mesh. So first of all, let, let me just create a a plane here, a small one. Uh, really important, I'm going to normalize the scale. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going to apply both scale, uh, rotation, everything. In fact, I forgot to apply the, the location, so that's also important, and I had to get back here and adjust this one too. Okay, so now I'm just doing a time lapse. I'm using the snap tool to project those vertices to the right place. And then I'm simply creating more vertices and creating some complex shape. Using the snap tool, we can actually guarantee that those vertices are placed above of the base mesh. Uh, there is also an interesting technique for this. Uh, we use a modifier, uh, the shrink bar, with the target as the Yuma male. Okay. And you can see that the, the mesh is already projected to fill the, the position of the body. So, what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to use the Alt X for uh, practically uh, bringing this above, especially this area. And, okay, that almost done. Let me just do this a little more. Right, so we have this crazy uh, mesh here. Let me even uh, bring this here. I'm trying to do some some really weird uh, variation on the topology so that you can see how how this can can work. Okay, so we have this crazy thing. Um, I'm going to set the normal to move. Yeah, okay. And what I'm going to do now is to use the same armature uh, for the male. And now is the interesting part. I select the uh, male base mesh here. And uh, with shift press at the... Then I select the, the new one. And uh, I go to uh, weight paint. And now here, uh, if you're working with uh, uh, one of the latest uh, versions for Blender, we have the transfer weights. So I click here, and I'm going to use uh, okay mirror space and groups. Uh, replace all of them. Uh, we could use probably uh, nearest vertex in face. Okay. And uh, now what happened, what just happened is now if I get and change the pose, <laughs> we have the, the mesh following this shape. As you can see here, uh, we have this kind of situation. This is happening because the, the complexity of this mesh is not the same of the com the same complexity of the, the the body mesh. So usually, what you 
what you want is to keep the same uh, same complexity, or you you could uh, also uh, bring this above. Uh, but I usually prefer to keep the same complexity and uh, actually uh, do some uh, just a little a little edges here so that both meshes work together in a better way. But it's really important to have the the vertices and uh, strategic points. So it can get better, better skin, skinning values. So again, uh, I'm going to transfer the weight again. Make these changes. You just put it in place, I think. And let's see how it works now. Yeah, much better. As you can see. Right, so now we have this little piece of, I have no idea what's this. Uh, especially if you're considering uh, including the, like the t-shirts that we had. Uh, you should also consider uh, expanding a little bit of this so that it can be combined with the t-shirts. So as you can see, the shape is still uh, being kept. This is a really interesting technique. And an amazing uh, feature on the new Blender uh, updates. So uh, now this guy already has an armature. Uh, I'm going to create a really fast texture here. And uh, using that for this thing, <laughs> I'll call this a piece of armor, but it's really not not a, a piece of armor armor at all. Uh, I'm just going to create a scene here and UV this. Yes, I'm making the UV map on Blender is really fast. Yes. Let me put this here just to save the protection. Yeah. This one is alone from my place. So in this case I'm creating a, a unique UV set. So this is going to use a, a new space on the new area on the atlas. I'm going to uh, basically fill this as I don't know, let me just fill with white. Yeah, okay. And now I'm going to export all of this. Again, uh, I will also export this guy with the, the rig for the male avatar, as I'm always forgetting this. So I'm going to select the, the bone structure select this one and export here okay uh, remembering the to set this correctly okay uh, now we are going to include this new slot for this um, armor we just created uh, let me call this the male, um, male armor to one. This one here. The FPX file has been imported, and uh, later I'm, I'm going to include the, the overlay. As you can see, it's already here. I'm going to adjust the scale, um, apply here, we have animation. As you can see, as I don't didn't rename it the the object, it's 
still using the plain uh, naming convention as it's started as a plain mesh. Now uh, I'm going to work on the overlay. So here in the mail, uh, I'm going to create a new folder for the mail armor. Number one, and I'm going to drag the, the texture. Uh, in this case, uh, I've included the simple normal map. You can see it has some uh, some error here on the calculation, but this is really just a fast uh, normal map for testing uh, purpose. And I'm going to drag those here. Uh, for the specular color, I'm going to simply uh, duplicate the diffuse one. I'm looking for a very shiny uh, and gloss uh, element here, so I'm going to for full white, just for for just to see the final result. So first of all, uh, let let me just adjust the resolution here. As this is a small piece of armor, I'm going for 128 uh, uh, full resolution. And for normal map, I'm going to uh, set the tag right. Okay, so I have this diffuse, normal map, and specular, all the same. Uh, for the specular, I will force the grayscale, uh, the alpha from grayscale. Okay. So now uh, the same for the for the diffuse. So it's full full white. Now the material builder. I'm going to drag all of them here and drag the folder. I'm going to correct this name just to keep the same name in convention as the rest in process. As you can see, as this texture resolution is really low, it's fast to, to calculate this. And uh, you're also going to notice that the normal map color is going to be closer to purple because it's a shining element. So you can see the, the this color variation as the normal map is also carrying the specular and glass. Uh, we don't need those anymore. Okay. And now I'm going to create the overlay itself. I'm going to duplicate this one, bring here as mail armor, same here, diffuse and normal map. Let me just, oh, this one uh, carries some edges values. So I'm going to bring zero here as this is uh, also a full overlay in in fact, a base texture. And I'm going to drag this to the to the library. Order by name and update, so we have the correct index. Oh, okay, uh, I still didn't create the, the slot itself, so I'm going to duplicate one from the t-shirts. Oh, there's the male armor one. Okay, take this name here and bring the right um, the right skin mesh. As you see, it's much better if you rename the the objects, so it's easier to identify the skin mesh. And uh, the rest is not, don't need to change. I just need to drag this one here also. So we have here the, the t shirts and the male armor here. So now we can actually uh, include this one. So again, I will have to take a break because of the time limit. And uh, I will keep this on the next video. So, goodbye. Until the next one. See ya.